Hello everyone, it's Virgilio from Virgilio Pizzeria and this video is to help people make the best take and bake pizza uh, with a pizza stone and without a pizza stone. So um, one of the things that you're going to get, you're going to get a take and bake pizza, it only comes in 14 and 8 inch because the trays are too big and they want to fit in the oven on the family size and you get instructions. So there are a couple little tips and I'm going to do this in segments. Um, so our first, our first thing is to heat the oven. So I have a pizza stone in here and I'll show you real quick. I'll put some oven and I heated it to 500 degrees first on convection to get it heated faster. There's my pizza stone seasoned beautifully. You can get a pizza stone for $10, $15 online, Amazon, Target, Walmart. And um, once the oven is preheated, which you want to do before you call in to take and bake, or um, it's very possible that you order a take and bake the day before or two days before, they're still, they're still great. So now I have the oven, once I had it preheated, because I want to heat the stone ahead of time, and the longer it's, it's heated, the better, and you can even do the stone on a barbecue, is, um, is to turn it back down to 425. So these trays, these special trays, are only rated for 425. So I hate to have to say, but you need to remove the plastic. We've had people cook it with the plastic, believe it or not. And then um, if it's been in a refrigerator, you kind of want to leave it, let it set out for about 10, 15 minutes. And if you didn't do what I did, which is drop it in the car, you can fix the pepperoni. And, um, and then we're gonna put that in the oven and then um, not on the piece of stone, on the other rack. And we're gonna put that in. It, it is critical that the oven is preheated. If you do not preheat the oven and you put the take and bake tray in while it's heating, two things happen. If you have one of the older ovens, you have the burner. It'll, it'll actually burn the tray. The other thing it'll do is it'll cook the top and the bottom will be raw. So it, it's very imperative that you preheat the oven. So we're gonna pull it out after about seven or eight minutes, enough to where the, the uh, tray, the pizza will come off the tray by itself. Right now it's so soft you can't get it off. So we're gonna take it off and then we're gonna finish it on the pizza stone so you can get a fresh, crispy pizza. And I'll be back with the next segment. Okay. Welcome back, I am uh, getting ready. So I lied about the eight minutes. It's probably gonna be more like 10 or 11 minutes. And you wanna get some oven mitts to take the tray out. And um, it doesn't, you know, one of the things you have to be careful of. Now you can see it's starting to brown. And one of the things I didn't mention, in between, I started, I spun it a couple of times. Now you see how the bottom is still white? So, but now it's moving. So actually, there's two things you can do. Right now, this, this is cooked perfect where I can just slide it onto the, onto the pizza stone. So I, I am just gonna just slide that right on just like that. And now we're on the pizza stone and we're perfect. So when you pull that out, once you're able to move it um, to where it, it, it um, it slides real easy, now you can put it on the stone. So now it's really up to you, but you wanna maybe take some tongs and you wanna spin it a couple times. Uh, I'll talk here. You wanna spin it a couple times in the, um, on the stone and every oven cooks different, all right? So uh, our instructions might say 13 to 15 or 17, I, I, I'm not really sure. It's just a guide, every oven is different. So now it's on the stone and we're just gonna watch it. So another way you can do it is if you have a pizza peel, this is a wood one, I recommend the metal ones are better. Make sure that they're at least 14 inches. You can put it on the counter and then just slide it onto the pizza peel and then just slide it and then, then you slide it into the oven. That's another way of doing it. Um, it was very easy to come off the tray and just slide it on. And then we'll use that same take and bake tray to slide it off, off the piece of stone and cut it on it and serve it. So uh, we're gonna let that cook and uh, I'll be back with our third and final segment on our um, 
awesome take and bake. I just want to let you know, when I do take out for myself, I only do take and bake. You know, you cannot get a crispy pizza in a box. It just doesn't, it's just not possible. Cause it's gonna steam. You got about two minutes and it's over. So, I mean, I know people don't wanna deal with the heat of the oven and the summertime, but if you really, really love your pizza fresh and crispy, Take and Bake is by far one of the best choices, but you have to do it right. I have done Take and Bake myself and they've come out awful because I'm not following the right instructions about preheating, spinning as it goes along, and and the pizza stone is just a, a touch. Now, if you don't want it, if you don't have a pizza stone, then just slide it onto the pizza rack. Make sure you take it off the tray at some point if you want a crispy bottom. You can leave it on it the whole time, but it's just not going to get crispy all the way. So, um, all right, I'll be back with our final product. Okay, well, I wanted to give you just another little important tip. If you can see the pizza, uh, where's that camera? Um, see that edge is, is white and this edge is crispy? All right, I'm putting it back in the oven. With, it was super important and I used the tongs to spin it because the back of the oven is always hotter than the front of the oven. So it's just super important that you spin it along the way. It's almost ready, um, but um, you know, time-wise, again, every oven's different. I just always set a timer for, you know, five minutes, five minutes, and then um, toward the end, I just watch it. Now, if you had two, if you had two pieces you're trying to cook at the same time, you're gonna have to have multiple racks or multiple ovens. Now, if you don't have a pizza stone, then what you wanna do is you wanna put pizza on one rack. Do not have it all the way to the top. Try to keep it as low to the, close to the bottom as you can. Preheat it, and then what you do is you take the top pizza, rotate it with the other one, and spin them, and you can get two pieces at a time that way. Um, unfortunately, if you're trying to do it for a large amount, you're going to have to do it in segments to get it to get it right. All right, all right. Well, we'll see that finished product in a second. Okay, so I want to show you this beautiful pizza. Uh, uh, I'm not too good with this here. Here we go. Uh, look at that bubbling on the stone there. That beautiful that is. All right, you're never going to get that out of pizza in the box. All right, so we are going to pull this out. And again, now you don't even you don't even need all you need is your old tray and some tongs. And you just just slide it right on. Now look out! Look, oh my God! Look at that. And um, so um, I am going to turn off this Italian music. And we're gonna give it a test. Oh. So, um, let's see what the bottom looks like. Perfect. Actually, for me personally, I probably, I probably for the video, I probably rushed it a little bit. I probably would have left it in a little longer, but the pizza is just, it's just beautiful and it's crispy, it doesn't taste like a box. So um, I made the video because I just, I, I know that it's a little extra work, but if you really just, if you have a little extra time, this is really the way to do a fantastic take and bake pizza. And like every, every good Italian, I have my fresh basil plant in my kitchen. So I'm gonna just make this look just a little bit more beautiful with some, with some fresh basil. And um, and I hope this gives you any, you know, I hope this helps you decide if you ever want to do a take and bake pizza. Um, the way to do it, we're, we're gonna, I think I'm gonna start promoting a little bit more and actually maybe selling the stones. Um, the stone I have is a commercial stone, so it's like three quarter inch. It takes a lot longer to heat. Um, the other ones are a little thinner, which are fine, but they, um, you know, they just, they preheat much faster. So um, I hope this is helpful and um, uh, look out for emails with special take and bake specials and stuff coming. All right, well you have a great day and, and I'm gonna sit down, oh, I'm gonna sit and enjoy this beautiful pizza. Ciao.